So going back up here, you're gonna see we have headgear, eyes, glass, and teeth. So for the headgear, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's try on this one, let's hit tab and hit in auto UV, the lab's auto UV here. Go ahead and plug that in, make that visible. You're gonna see it's going to automatically UV this. And you can see the method in here, you can go here, you can UV auto seam, you can do shortest path, UV unwrap, and you can choose what how many planes you want. But for this one, let's just go ahead and do auto seam. Let's turn on merge small islands. And for the grain and merge, I'm just gonna drag these sliders around until I get about the result that I want. So if I drag the slider to the left, you're gonna see those, that's gonna get more and more shells. If I drag it to the right, it's gonna try and stick more and more of those assets together. So I'm gonna look for a happy medium between this, grain tolerance, and also the merge threshold. So if I drag this one to the left, it's not gonna to merge too much. If I drag it way to the right, it's gonna try and merge a lot. So by balancing these two values out, we might be able to get something we like. And I can also take this visualize UVs if it's a little bit easier to say, you know what, what does this look like with seams? You can have that visible and then take these auto UV options. And then as you drag that grain tolerance to the right, you're gonna see where it's gonna cut. And then also your merge threshold maybe somewhere around uh, 0.14 and 0.14 for, both, for uh, both of those. And for eyes here, let's go ahead and type in rhizome, and again, we'll grab another unwrap, and I'll plug this in, make it visible, and let's go ahead and drop in our visibility for our UVs for this one. Let's go ahead and reuse that one. And this might be a good example of, if I wanna have overlapping UVs or stacked UVs, I can actually use symmetrize for this. And if I like this one more, We'll go ahead and do a symmetrized node on the eyeballs. And again, we'll type in zero for Y and then we'll do positive one for X. And we'll go ahead and make that visible. And now you're gonna see both of the eyeballs have the seam along the back and they're gonna be stacked and overlap. So if I paint one eyeball, the other eyeball will follow. Of course, if you wanna have different colors for both eyes, uh, you wouldn't want them stacked. But in our case, if we're gonna paint one side, we can go ahead and have it update on the other side. Save a little bit of UV space there. Now for the glass, Let's do another auto UV. And we'll go ahead and zoom in and see the result we're getting. And again, we'll just turn on Merge Smile Islands. And this time we'll just drop our merge threshold down just a bit. There you go, that'll work. And then finally, Teeth. Let's hit Tab, type in Rhizome. Go over here to Unwrap. Let's go ahead and select that node and make it visible. And this one, we'll go in here to Advanced. And again, we'll just turn on stretch control. That'll give us a little bit of a better layout. So there we have our UVs done for each of our individual objects.